Speaking of, Bo Ryan, welcome. It's great to see you. Yeah, it's good to be back. It's, and you've uh, just come down from a little break up on the Gold Coast. Yeah, I'm, I'm a bit concerned. I'm, I'm worried it could be our last footy show. Ever. Oh, you've, <laughs> you've never just come in and do, do your job, bro. All right. Uh, there's no Thursday to Thursday this week because we're doing March to September. Yeah. <laughs> Let's start with some Falcons and Cheekam started off with the first one. The second one was Anthony Milford in the eye. This also happened in March, and Alleluia, Aaron Woods finally cut his hair. <laughs> Kieran, Kieran Foran took a shot from right in front, thought he was playing in the A-League. No one really saw Kieran Foran ever after that, but hopefully he's OK. <laughs> Moving on to April. Now, some weird things happened in April, like Chechen sent his own boss off for 10 minutes. <laughs> I was at that game, sitting next to Doug Hatfield. But more importantly, Knights coach Nathan Brown gave the master a serve. When Wayne came to town, if he thought with his big head rather than his little head, I wouldn't have had to rebuild the joint. Wow. Yeah. And Billy the Kid, well, we saw this week, he can do whatever he wants. Shoulder charge, drop the ball, score tries. He's pretty much invincible. They still awarded it. He's the king. Moving on, straight back to May. Now, something new. 14 penalties in this round and a send-off, Shark Park. Paul Curtis Scott was the first player to go. Still on May and the Eels continued to go from bad to worse, King Gutho. <laughs> While we're out west, the Panthers were still unhappy they were winning. <laughs> and finally, this Doggies fan told us what he really thought until his, until his old man saw him on camera drinking a bourbon. Tell us what you really think. You've played with some, some psycho fans. Who's the, been the most crazy group of fans you've played in front of? Oh, I still have to say the Bulldogs. The Bulldogs? Yeah, the Bulldogs fans. Any Bulldogs fans? Or... Yeah. I thought there'd be more. What about you, Gertz? <laughs> I think the Sharkies fans Sharkies get pretty fans. loose down there at Shark Park. All right, OK. Souths fans ripped me a new one. Let's move on to June. Uh, now, origin time. Freddie and his baby <laughs> blues, they finally did it. So Queensland had to prepare a little bit differently. And this is how Queensland prepared for game two. I think that's Corey Parker, this Emmy Friday getting loose. But that didn't work, and of course, the Baby Blues were victorious. Latrell Mitchell brought it home, and the Blues won the series. But it didn't matter. Whatever Freddie did turned to goal. This is him commentating. Everything he touches turns to goal. Freddie still got it. In June, Robbie Farrell went back to Leichhardt. Also, George Tafua, my good mate, pulled off shot of the year. Oh. And poor Arva was still concussed and wasn't sure what side he played for. Where is Joey? Does anyone know where Joey is? I haven't seen Joey for a while. David Gower did his best 1990s Velcro ball impersonation. <laughs> and surprise, surprise, the poor Eels, they just kept getting it wrong, didn't they? <laughs> and finally, well, Gareth Widdop, our referees didn't know if they were right or wrong, but they're still getting paid. And finally, our ratings did drop in June because uh, the soccer was on and we couldn't get any footage. So here's Thailand versus Bali. Mm. SBS gave it to us. This is a post goal celebration. Oh! Never get told that. That's Never. It is awful. How many times have we seen that? How many Probably times about seen 13. That Speaking of Bali and Thailand, what, what, what do you prefer out of Bali and Thailand? I don't mind Bali. What do you like? I've never been. You never I'll, I'll say Thailand, just to be different. You've never been to Bali? No. What about you? I've been to Bali. I like Bali. I've never been to Thailand. This is cracking I like stuff Bali for the you. people, I like Thailand for the massage. All right, moving on to July. <laughs> now, semi Friday, well, he retired and did his best Wayne Bennett impersonation. Look at the crowd, they loved it. And the goat nearly killed someone up in Townsville. Oh! But, as the goat does, has to be the gentleman. Now, Gareth Whittup did his best Miley Cyrus impersonation. <laughs> Quick it up now, we move on to August and Gus finally got rid of Griffin. Griffin's st <laughs> we still don't know where poor Griffin is and our new PM is not worried about both people, he's worried about field goals. We also named five immortals, Mount Meninga was there. And some exclusive footage of the Royal Wedding Hens Night was released. <laughs> Looks like Meghan Markle running into Aaron Mullen. <laughs> she got me, she got me, Molly. Well done. <laughs>
Yeah, what, go. Are you, what are you doing with your hands tonight? Are you getting married still or what's going well, on? I was there? getting married, but then I got pregnant. Okay. <laughs> so but we still, delayed it. Still gonna... Well, I assume so, but it's, yeah, we've got a fair bit to do before that. Okay, you're still, you're still going. Yeah, yeah, no, we're still okay. engaged. We'll yeah. just have to clear that <laughs> up. Know. I don't want to, another article. I love Sean. Anyway, moving on to <laughs> September. And the GOAT finally played his last game. It's been the longest retirement ever. Uh, and halfway through the game, he showed us all why he was the greatest. Oh. Conrad Hurrell went to Mad Monday as Serena Williams. <laughs> the Bulldogs went to Mad Monday as the Full Monty. And Jack DeBellin thought he was in Thailand. <laughs> the Storm and Roosters came out on top and Billy the Goat didn't get suspended. Still don't know how he got off, but good on you, Billy. And uh, we always had Idiot of the Week. Um, now we have our Idiot of the Year. So without further ado, here is my Idiot of the Year. Don't try this at home and watch this to the very end. Do not try this at home. Can't believe he's still alive. Wait for it. Wait for it. And he is alive. <laughs> That's my march to September. Thanks for having me. Well done, Barry. Thank you very much. Do you have any final words? Oh. Do we do like a Mad Monday or anything? <laughs> or we, do we do a Mad... Where's Joey? <laughs> OK. <laughs> and on that note, bye, Ryan. Thank you very much.